like and follow our page and enable the notifications for live videos to stay connected with us. Thank you for joining us today. We are so excited to worship with you. My entire life I wanted to be a pastor, but with time in high school I ended up being drifted away from that and I fully focused myself on being a doctor. And right before I would start med school the Lord completely changed my heart and He pointed myself towards Him again and He showed me what He wanted for me. My heart started burning for CF and I and the Lord opened every single door for me to come. Well here at CF and I, God healed me. Uh, I, when I got here, I had asthma and I had to do all these medicines. But right now, I haven't taken any of those medicines in over two years and my lungs are perfect. So he fully healed me from that. But more than just this physical healing, he healed my heart. He showed me how my dependency should be strictly on him. Not on the ministry of my parents or my ministry back in Brazil, but on him. The only thing that I need, I need Jesus. More than even the blood within my veins. Uh, as soon as I stepped into it and I made the sacrifices that needed to be made, everything opened, so I'm glad for it. Hello everyone, thank you for joining our live stream. Feel free to like and comment throughout the duration of this video. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. If you're watching on Facebook today, be sure to like and follow our page and enable the notifications for our live stream so you will receive all of the updates. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our page and click on the notification bell. Thank you for watching our live stream. We're so excited to worship with you an atmosphere of faith here at Christ for the Nations really has prepared me to pray prayers that I wouldn't have prayed before, to see God move in new ways, to see him do new things, not just in my life, but to believe for the lives of others that God can meet them right where they're at. It became real to me how real God was and how intentional he was with my heart and wanting to encounter me outside of what I thought was normal parameters for him to move. Thank you for joining our live stream. 
Feel free to like this video and leave a comment throughout. And be sure to follow CFNI and all social media platforms. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell. Back. Holy Spirit, we just thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for what you will do, Lord. And we just give this service to you, Lord, that our eyes may be fixed on you and you alone, that our hearts may be turned to be turned towards you and you and you alone, Lord. And we thank you for everything that you are doing. Amen. Lord, we welcome you into this place as you welcome us into your sanctuary. And we come humbly before you today, another day that you've allowed us to live and breathe. Pour your heart inside of us, Jesus, as we come to worship you. Guys, last yesterday we rested a lot in, in worship, and today I want to push more on the spiritual warfare where we worship, we war in the spirit, we take the offense, and so while we're worshiping, you pray, you intercede, you fight on. So we're going to start off just praying in the spirit, and then go on to worship. But that's what we do. You can sit, and you can rest, and you can soak in, and you can also fight. You can also move forward. The enemy is going to attack, but you attack him first. So Jesus, we come before you today. As we worship, we fight on. We're in your army. You're fighting for us. You're holding us up. You're taking care of us, Jesus. But we are going to fight. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. Romo koshi ki arama satara mo shokoto romo ndriye. Rabba kasatriye shiri arama kandara mo soto romo ndro mo shikiriye. Teach us how to pray. Teach us how to war. Teach us how to fight the spirit. Teach us, Jesus. The war is in the spirit realm, that we cannot see it, but the Word of God tells us. The Word of God is truth. Let us understand revelation of where the battle is at. You know, if there was a wreck, you guys were in a wreck, and all of a sudden you'd see your kid or your family or someone in desperation because they've just been hit, and it looks like they're going to die. You guys get serious, and all of a sudden start screaming out, asking for a hospital, or praying, Lord, help, help, because you visualize it, you see it in person. So all of a sudden you change and you start fighting. But if we could see in the spirit what's happening of the enemies trying to attack you and your family and different ones, you would again come alive and start pushing. So you need to understand the fight is there. Even though you can't see it, it's real. It's more real than anything else. And you've got to learn when you come into these times of worship, you can soak it in, you can refresh, but at the same time, you've got to take the offense and you've got to fight back. Spiritual warfare comes in worship. And that's what we're doing. Let this be a land, Lord. A land where the Spirit reigns, Jesus. Where we fight. Where we fight in the Spirit realm. Let this be a land where people come and war together as one. One body serving your purpose, Jesus. Joe's army fighting on. Let it come alive inside of us. Let it come alive inside of us. Jesus, a passion, a desperate desire, Lord, to, to fight for our lives, to fight for our families, to fight, Lord, for our relationships. We want, we want to see miracles. We want to see signs, wonders, and eyes open up. We want to see the dead raised. We want to see all those miraculous things. But at the same time, we want a war for our character to change, for integrity, Lord. 
We want to work for the fruit of the Spirit, that we respond to people, that relationships are rebuilt, Lord, that marriages are rekindled, that our children are coming back to you. The small things that we don't understand, the small things that aren't as big, Lord, as, as healings and miracles, Lord, we want you during these times to fight as we pray. Change our hearts, change our mindsets, change our character, Lord. Destroy the fear, destroy the fear of man that the enemy tries to put, the anxiety, worry, and fear, Lord Jesus. Destroy those smaller things that we don't rip, that we don't understand at first, Jesus. These are the times that you are working in our hearts. These are the times that you are working in our lives to do the small things, the character flaws that we have. When we come out of our mouth, let it be life-giving, let it be uplifting, let it be encouraging. Let it be life, Lord. Let what we do bring hope and life to this world. So change that in our hearts that everything we do throughout the day represents you. Every small character flaw that you would change into your likeness. That when you, you walk this earth, you showed us exactly how to live. And we want to do the same. We want to live that same. So we come before you this morning and worship you. And fight on, Lord, and pray. Lord, change those things in us as we give you glory and honor. We believe you can change us, Lord. We believe you're the answer. We believe there's nothing else that can do a wonder in our lives besides you. You are the answer, God. You created us to be in tune with you, to be in fellowship with you, not to be in fellowship with all this distraction in this world. You created us to be one with you, Jesus. And if we are in tune with you, Lord, there's a life-giving power that flows through us that we don't understand. We want that. We cry out to you, Abba Father, be that to us. Show us the realness of who you are inside of our lives. We bless your name, Jesus, as you teach us. Teach us to pray. Teach us to fight on in Jesus' name. Remember, if the Lord's sharing with you anything on your heart, any visions, feel free to come and share with us. We want the body to share with each other. You encourage others when you speak out whatever the Lord's put on your heart. He wants to work through us individuals. He doesn't want to just work through one of us, me or just the staff. He wants to work through all of us. We're the body of Christ. And we work together as one. A hand, a foot, an eye, a head. We're all together working as one. So let's fight on. Continue to pray. Continue to intercede while you praise, while you worship. same spirit of prayer can we just continue to pray in our heavenly language we take the offense this morning. We storm the gates of hell. We storm the gates of hell with Jesus, with Jesus. We storm the gates of hell with Jesus, with Jesus. Come on, continue. <speaking in Spanish> Oh, 
Power in the name. 
peace Bring it all to peace The storm surrounding me Let it break That your name still Call the seas to steal The rage in me to steal Every wave That your name Can we sing that again? Peace Bring it all to peace The storm surrounds me Let it break Let your name still Call the sea to still The rage in me to still Every wave Let your name Jesus, Jesus You make the dark Jesus, Jesus, 
535 says, while Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, they say, why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told them, don't be afraid, just believe. And later on in verse 39, it says, he went in and said to them, why all this commotion? The child is not dead, but asleep. I just hear the Holy Spirit saying that there are some dreams in here that are not dead. They've just been put to sleep. I feel him saying that this generation isn't dead. It's just been put to sleep. And while we were singing, proclaiming the name of Jesus, I was just reminded that at that name, mountains have to bow. Bones have to be raised from the dead. So Lord, I just thank you for the power in your name. I thank you that even though odds are stacked up against some, your name still prevails. Lord, I thank you that even though the weapon has been formed, death will not prosper. I thank you that even though shame has been formed, your blood speaks a better word. I thank you that even though depression has been formed, we're all still standing here. I thank you that even though anxiety has been formed, it's your breath in our lungs, Lord. I thank you that you give us identity. And I just pray and speak your name over this generation. I pray that we will not bow in fear. I pray that we will not back down, but Lord, I pray that we will be a generation that stands up and proclaims the name of Jesus. I I pray that you will wake up the dry bones, the things that have been put to sleep of this generation, Lord. I pray against sexual identity over this generation. I pray against confusion over this generation, Lord. Your name speaks a better word, Lord. I pray that we will walk in boldness. I pray that we will also walk in humility, Lord, that it's your breath in our lungs. Every word that we speak will be your words. Every thought that we have will be filtered through you, Lord. Every step we take will be a step in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that this generation will be your hands and feet, Lord. In your name, amen. The Lord's put some in each one of our hearts. He created us for a purpose and he has something that he wants to use through us. But like she says, this generation is put to sleep simply because whether it's we're on social media all the time and that the stuff we stare at that we put in our brains, it numbs us, it puts us to sleep. Whether it's the prescription pills that, that, that now they're trying to pour into us all the time or whatever it is, the, the enemy is good at distracting us and putting us to sleep and knowing that the Lord has put something in each one of you all to come alive. So find out, ask the Lord to search you. What is that thing? What is it that's putting you to sleep, that's numbing you to what he has planned for you? The society is tearing us up. It's making us forget why did the Lord create us and what did he put in us. He's put us to sleep, so let him bring you alive. And that's why you're here in these times in the morning. As you, as you focus and you get in to worship with him, things come alive in you that you didn't know was there. I'm only telling you from experience. When I come into worship, I become a different person simply because his spirit comes alive in me. Outside of that, you stare at TikTok for an hour. The next thing you know is your mind is numb and you don't know what just happened. And you just feel dead. So just ponder on that. Ms. Renee, you want to come up? Just close out. Thanks. Praise God. God is good. Amen. Amen. I want to do this quickly. This is something that's been on my heart. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. How many married couples we have in here? Let me see. Come on, wave me. Wave. Okay, let me do it like this. Listen, every female in here, if you have a father, if you have a brother, if you have a boyfriend, if you have a husband, okay, if there's animosity in your heart toward a male, okay, okay, today, this is weird. I know it's weird. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. But this is something that's on my heart. And I feel like the women need to repent for the way that we've done our brothers, the way we've done our fathers, the way we've done our husbands. I feel like women, females, need to repent. And this is something, I don't know, this is weird. I've never seen this done before. But this is, this is really what's on my heart. This is the season for men. We've been declaring youth, youth, youth. No, that's out of order. The Bible says a man will lead the way and God is raising up the men and we need to be encouraging them. We need to be standing behind them. So I want all women, okay? All females, okay? Praise the Lord. Some of you may not want to do it, but bless God anyway, amen? Okay, I want all the women to kneel. 
all the females kneel. We're going to repent to God for how we've done our fathers, how we've done our husbands, how we've done brothers, how we've done sons. If we've done or said anything that's offended them, if we've done or said anything that made them feel less than a man in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that's wrong. Because the Bible tells a woman, you have to honor your husband. He didn't say you have to like it. He said you have to honor him. Honor your husband. Lift them up. We need to lift you guys up. We need, and I'm, hey, I'm not trying to get no brownie points. I'm just put, telling you what's on my heart. This is something that God wants to do. Seriously, guys, I really want you to think as we pray, okay? I'm going to pray over you because we got to do this quickly. But I just want you to put your hand up to the Lord because we are repenting. We are telling the Lord we are sorry. We missed it in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. I don't know why you have me doing this, Lord, but you know every heart of every female in this place. You know what goes on in the homes. You know what has gone on in the past. You know whether there was abuse. You know whether there was pain. You know everything. But Father, right now in the name of Jesus, on our part, we repent. We repent. Say that. Say, we repent. We repent, Lord. We're sorry for arguing, for murmuring, for complaining, for being cranky, for being mean, for being hateful. We apologize, Lord God. We repent. We repent for our mothers. We repent for our sisters. We repent before God. Holy Spirit, give wisdom to women to know how to honor their husbands, to know how to honor their brothers and their fathers. We need to be honoring these men. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will lift the men at CFNI up so that the world will see these are men in Jesus' name. They don't cower. They don't have fear. They're not afraid to speak. They're not afraid to stand up against darkness. They're not afraid to stand in the name of Jesus. Lift up the men, Lord God. Strengthen them. Encourage them. Work your plan in each one of their lives. Help them to be fathers. Help them to be brothers. Help them to encourage their sisters. God, in the name of Jesus, bring this thing. Bring this thing into order. And Father, we give you all the praise. And I pray that for all of those that are online in the name of Jesus, for all of the wives and that have been cranky and mean and hateful in the name of Jesus. I don't know why the Holy Spirit has me doing this, but tomorrow is Valentine's Day. It's a, it's a perfect opportunity for husbands and wives to come together in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you, Father, that even online, women, there's tears falling from women's eyes because they know how they've done their husbands. They know how they've done their brothers. Father, we give you praise. We trust you. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You are dismissed. Praise the Lord. Online viewers, we want to thank you for joining us today. And we trust that the Lord has touched you in this worship time. And we want to encourage you to join us every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 8 o'clock for a worship experience. Well, I'd like to pray for you this morning. Father, we thank you today for our online viewers. And we pray, Lord, that your peace would abide with them. Lord, we thank you that in the storm, Lord, you're with us. Whatever we go through in life, that we can know that Emmanuel, God, is with us. And so, Lord, I pray that the Prince of Peace would, would be with our viewers today and would rule in their hearts. So, Father, we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.